tennis power couple Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf have earned some impressive stats between them. 30 Grand Slam titles, 22 years of marriage, and an estimated $145 million when it comes to their net worth. With that kind of success on and off the court, you already know the pair owns several properties, mostly in Andre's hometown of Las Vegas. The retired tennis stars have been reportedly living in a 9,000 square foot mansion in the Summerlin area of Vegas for the past decade. But since the early 90s, Andre also owned a luxury home in the gated enclave of Spanish Hills. The Spanish Hills mansion offers features like a grand double height foyer and living spaces with a peaceful energy that are airy and decked out in mostly white, something Andre might have appreciated after retiring in 2006. The, the scoreboard said I lost today, but what the scoreboard doesn't say is what it is I have found. What is up, tennis fans? Today we're dishing on the legendary player Andre Agassi and his wife, the iconic Steffi Graf. Andre Agassi had skills with a racket from the time he was a toddler. By age 13, his dad has shipped him off to a tennis academy run by the infamous Nick Bolletieri. Andre turned pro soon after and started racking up tournament wins left and right in the late 80s. He won eight Grand Slam titles over his career and scored a Golden Slam, winning all four majors plus Olympic gold. Not too shabby. With his wild hair, colorful outfits, and killer forehand, Andre brought major Major energy and flair to the court. He definitely annoyed the tennis traditionalists who weren't feeling his look and attitude. But his rebellious style combined with his dominant playing made Andre a total media sensation back in the day. Now, Andre's love life was also pretty interesting. He dated some major celebs like Barbara Streisand before marrying actress Brooke Shields in 1987. But that marriage crashed and burned pretty quickly. This is where it gets juicy. Andre had been crushing hard on the gorgeous Steffi Graf for years. He finally worked up the courage to ask her out in 1999 and sparks flew right away. Before long, Steffi had moved into Andre's bachelor pad in Vegas. Andre first laid eyes on Steffi back in the early 90s and he was immediately captivated by her beauty and grace on the court. He tried to get her attention after the French Open in 1991, but the shy Steffi, well, she didn't bite. Little did Andre know, he left an impression on Steffi too. She later said she remembered him as the boy with the chin hair at that tournament. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I guess seeing as how it turned out, it was good. Their paths crossed again at Wimbledon in 1992. Andre was thrilled when he won the tournament, knowing that he would get to dance with the women's winner, Steffi Graf. He hurried to buy a tuxedo for their dance, but unfortunately, the champion's dance was canceled that year. So Andre had to be patient, but he couldn't get Steffi out of his head. Finally, in 1999, their coaches arranged for them to accidentally meet and practice together at a tournament. Sparks flew. Andre was completely smitten and wooed Steffi with huge bouquets of roses. Once they were both free from their other relationships, things moved quickly. Steffi retired after winning the French Open and she moved in with Andre in Las Vegas. Their attraction was intense and instant. As Andre said, when Steffi Graf says yes, it's as close to arriving as you can get. From their first date, he knew she was the one. After two years of dating blissfully, Andre and Steffi tied the knot in a simple, private Las Vegas wedding in 2001. Steffi was 31 and Andre was 31 when they married. So it was a winding road over nearly a decade from their first meeting to the start of their lifelong romance. But good things, come to those who wait. Andre's patience and persistence paid off with the woman of his dreams. So what's life like for these two tennis legends today? Well, they live large in an epic mansion in the exclusive area of Summerlin, Las Vegas. We're talking 9,000 square feet of luxury and the two pros have got it made with a tennis court right in their backyard. They sold the other smaller home in the Spanish Hills a while back. That place had a sweet pool and spa for relaxing after matches. Andre and Steffi have two kids now and Steffi's family lives nearby too. They're living quite the good life in Vegas. But you know, they still have that competitive spirit when they grab the rackets and face off for a friendly family match. 
This is their primary residence, a lavish 9,000 square foot mansion in the exclusive Summerlin community of Las Vegas. This place now is well known for celebrities like in this area, like Celine Dion and plenty others. Their home has a private tennis court where they can volley with their kids. The mansion also has a home gym and impressive pool. They keep things pretty under wraps with this place, but we know it has seven bedrooms and 13 bathrooms. So plenty of room for Steffi's extended family who also live in Summerlin. This home was Andre's bachelor pad before he met Steffi and the home that she moved into. This place has four beds and five baths. Features of this home include a sunken living room, wet bar, and lush backyard with pool, spa, and Andre's original tennis courts. They sold this property in 2021 after owning it since 1993. Tennis fans relish that Andre trained on this very court for quite a long time actually. Let's throw it back to his childhood. This modest Vegas home is where Andre's love of tennis began. His dad built a tennis court in the backyard of his childhood home. It was sold for $725,000 a few years ago, but preserves the old tennis courts. So whether it's grand mansions or modest family homes, Andre and Steffi have owned beautiful properties steeped in their tennis history. Their main Summerlin estate remains the envy of Las Vegas real estate. There you have it folks, the incredible story of Andre and Steffi, two tennis legends who found love and happiness together off the courts. Their dazzling skills, passion for the game, and many Grand Slam titles make Andre and Steffi household names in the tennis world. But beyond the fame and fortune, what shines through is their dedication to family and using their platform to give back. Despite humble beginnings, these two soared to the top of tennis and created a loving foundation together. Even in retirement, their competitive fires still burn bright. Just just ask their kids. From the first time a young Andre spotted Steffi to their fairy tale wedding and two decades of marriage, this power couple shows that true love triangles can have two sides. So let's raise a racket to the one and only Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf. An unbeatable pair if there ever was one. Before we conclude this house tour, let's answer this question. Which of Andre's homes impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next one. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in another one. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.